So this is the first book that we actually don't own that I'll be reading today. It's called Cork and Fuzz, Short and Tall. This is from Kraken's library book. He is in kindergarten and each week he gets a new book. So this was the book he chose for this week. And when I read it to him, he asked me to do a video with it. Now, since it's from the library, I did put a little sticky note to cover where they said what his school is. Because while well, I'm sure everyone is lovely, I would just feel safer if, you know, personal identifying information wasn't out there for him. So keep that in mind. You should never tell a stranger where you live or where you go to school or anything else that's too personal unless a trusted adult tells you it's okay. Because sometimes people make bad decisions and it's just better not to have that be an option for them to make that decision for you. But back to the book, Quirk and Fuzz, short and tall, it's about two friends with some differences. It's by Dory Carconos. I did not check how to say her name, so I may have said it wrong. And illustrated by Lisa McCure. This is part of the Viking Easy to Read series. This one's a level three. The Viking Easy to Read program makes reading as easy as one two, three. And the three is kind of a yellowy orange because this is a yellowy three book. Each Viking easy to read book has a color coded reading level to make book selection easy for parents and children because all children are unique in their reading development. Viking's three levels enable teachers and parents to find the right book to suit each individual child's reading readiness. So what that means is, while you might be the same age, maybe where you are in the book is a little bit different. So level one has ages four to seven. Level two has ages five to eight, and level three suggests ages six to nine. Now, if you're reading this book and you're not in any of these age groups, or maybe you are and you feel like you fit more into one versus the other level, don't worry. Everyone learns at their own pace. Four to seven has the preschool grade one getting started. Level 2 has the ages 5 to 8, grades K to 2, K to second grade, K being kindergarten, beginning to read. Ages 6 to 9 has grades 1 to 3, first to third, and reading alone. So there may be children as young as 6 who can read this book all on their own. You might have heard my kitty meowing. Lynn is a very demanding little lady. I apologize. So, Cork and Fuzz, short and tall. I said it's about two friends. And this library book has been very loved. A Viking, easy to read. Now look, here is Fuzz, and he's showing his hand is above a certain height. The height is how tall Fuzz is. But that is not how tall Cork is. Cork is quite a bit shorter. Again, by Dory Kokonis. Maybe Chakonis. Illustrated by Lisa McKeever. For Stephen James, my star, DC, to Max, who will be learning to read soon, LM. This book was first published in 2006, so it's been a little bit. Chapter 1. Cork 
was a short muskrat. That's what he is. He ate cattails and roots. These are cattails. Cattails are named that because they look like a cat's tail, the puffy part. This is where all the seeds come out later. So you can see they live near water. Fuzz was a tall possum. He ate berries and seeds, pancakes, hamburger buns, apple peels, candy wrappers, worms, and black beetles. That's a lot. Look at how much he's eating. Oh my goodness. Certainly apple peels, hamburger buns. This, all those things are hanging out over here. One short muskrat, one tall possum, two best friends. Yep, they're just eating their lunch together. Nom, 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 nom. One day, Cork looked up at Fuzz's head. Something's not right, Cork said. What is not right? Fuzz asked. I am older than you, Cork said, but you are taller than me. Are you standing in a hole? Fuzz asked. Cork looked down. I am not standing in a hole. You are taller than me. Does it matter that I am taller than you? Fuzz asked. I am older, Cork said. I need to be taller. It is a rule. I am sorry, Fuzz said. I did not mean to break a rule. Look, he's so grumpy looking at him up here, all tall. Oh, look how sad he is. Do you think you can be shorter? Cork asked. Fuzz's tail drooped into the dirt. I do not know how to be shorter, he said. Think, 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 Cork said. We will think about how to make you shorter. Mm, thinking very hard indeed while his friend is sad. Now, being tall is not something that you have control over. Being tall or short, those are just facts of life. There are other things, too. But, let's see how it goes. Lunch, 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 Fuzz said. I will think about eating lunch. He picked up a beetle. He opened his mouth wide. Do not eat that beetle, Cork yelled. No! He grabbed Fuzz's snout. Ooh, that's rude. If you stop eating, you will stop growing. Then you will not be taller than me. Fuzz tried to speak. Cork let go of Fuzz's snout. Stop eating. Fuzz shouted, me? Just for a little while, Cork said. How long is a little while? Fuzz looked worried. Not long, Cork said. About seven days. Fuzz groaned. Oh my, you know that he loves eating. His friend tell him not to eat for a week. That is a long time, especially for a little possum, because possums are right about the size of a cat, so they are very little. Chapter 2 Oh, this does not look good over here. Look how upset he is. Oh, my. While you are waiting, while we are waiting for you not to not grow, said Cork said, can you walk on your knees? That will make you shorter. Fuzz groaned again. Cork walked along the path on his feet. Fuzz walked along the path on his knees. Ouch, Fuzz said. What is the matter? Cork asked. My knee stepped on a stick, Fuzz said. They took three more steps. 
Buzz yelled again. Ouch, ouch. What is the matter now? Cork asked. My knee stepped on a nut. So here's the stick. Here's the nut. Ah, not good. At least he looks like he does care. He looks concerned for his friend. Oh, he looks a little abashed. They took three more steps. Fuzz yelled again, ouch, ouch, ouch. What did your knee step on now? Cork asked. This time it is not my knee that hurts, Fuzz said. This time it is my stomach that hurts because it is empty. Cork sighed. This is not going to work. Now that possum sure gets hungry because the whole start of this story, they were having lunch. Goodness. I cannot be shorter, Fuzz said, but maybe we can make you taller. Oh yes, said Cork. We can make me taller. He looks so hopeful about being taller. Possums eat good food, Fuzz said. Maybe you need to eat like a possum. Then you will grow like a possum. Well, that's a good thing to think. But animals have different kinds of diets. Different things that are good for them or bad for them. Kitty cats only eat meat. Because cats are carnivores. So if you were to take away meat from a cat, it would be sick eventually. And other animals that only eat vegetables, if they try and only eat meat, they might get sick too. Sometimes an occasional thing might not be bad, but you should never feed an animal food if you don't know that it's good for it. And if you're not sure, ask a trusted adult. And never feed wild animals. Possums are usually wild animals. Same with muskrats. All right, so he's looking thoughtful and he's looking a little confused. So let's see here. Oh, I think we know what there this is going. That's a wormy. All right, well, let's see though what it says. What did you eat for breakfast? Quirk asked. I ate three beetles. I ate four worms. I ate two pancakes. I hope there are some pancakes left. Quirk said, nope said Fuzz, but there is a nice, fat worm. Ugh, said Cork. Do I have to eat it? Do you want to grow? Fuzz asked. Yes, said Cork. He closed his eyes. He opened his mouth. Oh, he's gonna try it. Oh, oh my God. let's see, let's see, let's see. I cannot eat this worm, Quark said. We skipped chapter three, because that's where we are. Oh, he did not eat the worm. Maybe possums do something else to make them tall. Fuzz popped the worm into his mouth. Waste not, want not. Indeed, good possum knows not to waste food. We hang from tree branches, he said. Cork jumped up and down. I can hang from a tree branch, he said. I can stretch. Oh, he is so hopeful and excited. And there's a pretty dragonfly fluttering along. And they're looking up at a tree branch. I think that's probably what they're going to try. We hang by our tails, Fuzz said. Cork looked at his short tail. My tail cannot do that. You can hang by your paws, Fuzz said. Cork jumped up and down again. Yes, he said, I can hang by my paws. Cork stood on Fuzz's back. He grabbed a branch in the nut tree. Fuzz moved away. Cork's feet swung in the air. 
Do I have to hang here long? Cork asked. Not long, Fuzz said. About seven days. <gasps> Somebody's teasing. Mm -hmm -hmm. I think he's definitely teasing for that gripe about the not eating for seven days earlier. Mm -hmm. But he didn't fight back. He's willing to try. He's trying. Cork wiggled. I have a problem. What kind of problem? Fuzz asked. A seed puff blew up my nose, Cork said. Now I have an itch. Scratch it, said Fuzz. If I scratch it, I will fall, Cork said. Can you wait? Fuzz asked. No, Cork said. I cannot wait. It is a bad itch. Oh my, this does not look good. Look at that stick. That is a bad idea. Well, let's see how this is going to go. Can you sneeze it out? Fuzz asked. Cork sneezed. Achoo! I cannot sneeze it out. I will help, Fuzz said. He picked up a long stick. Uh-oh. But look, he's so enthusiastic, he definitely is going to help his friend, right? All right, chapter four. Look at all the green nuts in the tree. They've got a bunch of trees. Oh, here's some nuts on the ground. But let's see how this stick business is going to go. That looks like it's awful close to his face. Not safe. What are you doing with that stick? Cork asked. I will scratch the itch for you, Fuzz said. You will poke me in the eye, Cork said. I, I think that's also a danger. I mean, even just poking him hard with a stick in the nose ain't gonna, that's not a good option. I don't think this is a good, good choice of options here, but let's see. The stick did not poke Cork in the eye. Oh, good. It poked Cork in the belly. Ouch! Cork yelled. Yep, no, that wasn't going to end well. Don't use sticks with your friends. It's not going to end well. Then he fell on Fuzz. Oof, oof. The seed puff blew out of Cork's nose. Oop, it's right there. Oof. The air blew out of Fuzz's belly. Yeah, he landed on him. I'm sorry I fell on you, Cork said. I am sorry you have not gotten any taller, gotten taller, Fuzz said, or lighter. Cork helped Fuzz to his feet. Then he shook Fuzz's paw. It was nice being fr best friends, Cork said. But we are best friends, Fuzz said. No, said Cork. We are too different. I am older than you. You are taller than me. There is no way to change that. Goodbye, Fuzz. Now, he is right that being older or taller, or at least one's height, that's not something you could change. But there's no reason to stop being friends. So let's see how the story goes. Cork walked toward his home in the pond. Fuzz looked after him. He sniffed. <laughs> Goodbye, Cork, he whispered. Oh, he's so sad. A tear slipped out of his eye and landed on a nut. Oh, he's crying. Fuzz picked up the nut. Then he picked up another nut. He jumped up and ran after Cork. Cork, he yelled, wait. When Fuzz reached Cork, he held out the two nuts. See these nuts, Fuzz said. Are they the same? No, said Cork said. One is big and wet. The other one is little and dry. 
They are different, Fuzz said, but they are still nuts. Ooh, see? Fuzz knows. He knows that even if you're different, even if there's things you cannot change, that doesn't make you really all that different. Then Fuzz pulled Cork to the edge of the pond. They looked at themselves in the water. Oh, see their little reflections? See these friends? Fuzz asked. Are they the same? No, Cork said. One is short, one is tall. They are different, Fuzz said, but they are still friends. Just like two nuts, Cork asked. One little and one big? Mm-hmm, that's exactly what Fuzz is telling him. That is exactly what Fuzz is trying to tell him. Just like two nuts, Fuzz said, two best friends, short and tall together. And look, they're enjoying their nuts together. See, it is a fact of life that people you know will be different than you, but that doesn't mean you can't appreciate the differences. There's good things about being different. I hope you enjoyed it and you have a great day.